Hi, my name is Frank White and welcome to another episode of Photography Tips and Reviews. In today's episode, I am going to talk about the Tekina 20 to 35 millimeter F 2.8 AT-X Pro AF lens. Now, this is a, a nice feeling piece of equipment. Okay, so what I'm going to do is tell you what I like about this lens and what I don't really like so much about this lens. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what I like about this lens is that it has internal focusing, which means that when I change from 20, from a focal length of 20 millimeters to a focal length of up to 35 millimeters, then everything that, that moves is on the inside. So I don't have to worry about uh, dirt getting in it so easily, uh, and it just make for a high quality lens when everything is internal. Um, I just, that's just a feature that I particularly like in my lenses. Um, the other thing that I like about this lens is that it has an all metal casing. Uh, everything is metal except for the, except for the auto focus, for the manual focus dial and the, the focal length dial. Now, I got these pliers here so that I can tap on it. You can hear just how solid this guy is. So I do like the metal casing, which is an attestment to the build quality. I mean, this guy is built, well, I'm, heard you, I've, I'm sure that you've heard other people say that a lens is built like a tank. This lens is built like a weapon. I mean, I can hit somebody in the head with this and then turn around, take this lens, mount it back on my camera and take the picture. <laughs> I mean, this guy is built and, and you better watch out. Um, this lens is designed for a full frame camera, but it's, you can also mount it on a crop sensor camera too. It amount on um, on all the Canon bodies. Uh, well, when I say all the Canon bodies, I don't mean the old FD bodies like the AE um, film bodies, but it amount on all the digital Canon bodies, or at least the crop sensor and the full frame sensor bodies, and it will mount. On, you can get it in the Nikon version. Now this is the Canon version. Uh, it does have a metal mount in the back. Uh, and they also make it for, um, I think it's Minota. Uh, yeah, the Minota autofocus. So that kind of tells you how old this lens is. It's really an old lens. Uh, and that's one of the things I don't like so much about it. This lens um, is, well, I actually tried to find the manufacturer run dates, uh, the dates that this, this lens was introduced and the date that it was discontinued, and I was not able to find that information. So if you find that information, please post it in the comments below. Uh, another thing that I don't like so much about this lens is probably due to its age. I couldn't find a Lightroom profile, so I wound up using the next closest profile to this lens, and I, I feel like that profile helped marginally, but if this had its own profile, then that would, would be a lot better. Um, this lens has a 77 diameter front, and it weighs 20.6 ounces, which is about 1.3 pounds or 585 grams. So back to that build quality, it's a pretty, it's a pretty healthy lens for its size. Um, another thing that I really do like about this lens is that it does have that 2.8 aperture, which means that you can, I can open it up and let it gather a lot of light as opposed to a kit lens which usually run from five point, let's see, from, from 3.5 till about 5.6, uh, most kit lens. 
Um, but this, and the reason I mentioned the kit lens is because the focal length do, does pretty much mimic the focal length of the kit lenses. Um, this lens is a 20 to 20 to 35 millimeter. Um, most kit lenses are 24 to 50, well, 24 to 105 are, are for the crop sensor kit lenses, 18 to 55. So this lens is right in there. It's, uh, it's pretty wide, but it gives you some ability to, to zoom in. Um, now, the biggest thing that I don't like about this lens uh, and it may be due to its age, is that it has, it's really soft in the corners. Uh, now my copy, ter it turns out that this copy is pretty much soft in the corners and a little bit too soft for me to really use it as a professional lens. However, if I get a, a subject who has bad skin and I really want to smooth that skin out in camera, then this might be the lens that I'd go to. Uh, but with that said, I definitely would want to, to watch my rules because I'm not so sure that I want to shoot um, this lens using the rule of thirds. I, I might want to center my subject right in the middle. Another thing that I do like about this lens is that it does have full-time manual overroads, over, overroad. It does have full-time manual override, so I could use the autofocus to focus in on the subject, and then turn around and tweak that tweak that focus manually without damaging the lens. So you know that's a pretty good feature. And of course, it's something that you would expect in a pro body. When this lens was new, I suspect it really was a popular lens, um, which is why I was able to pick one up super, super, super cheap. Now, I've seen them often on websites for around $200, uh, which is probably not a bad price for this lens, but with some look, with some looking and a lot of patience, you can probably get this lens um, well up under $200 and use it to, to hurt somebody. Just joking. Well, here are some images that I've made with this lens. So check them out. I hope I've been able to give you some really good information about this Takina 20 to 35 millimeter AT-X Pro AF lens. If you have any questions about this lens, leave, leave those questions in the comments, um, or if you have any comments, leave those. I look at those comments even if this video is uh, a year or two or three years old, so don't let the age of this video stop you from commenting. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I use that kind of as a barometer to, to, to help me determine how well I'm presenting you with this information. And go ahead and take a moment to subscribe. Without your participation, then what I'm doing is in vain and I am in the I've been working harder to build this channel while I present you with some, some valuable content, uh, at least what I hope you consider valuable content. And finally, if you're gonna shoot anybody today, shoot them with a cannon, 
or a camera of your choice. And remember, keep shooting no matter what.